Products in this video were provided to the author to do a review. All opinions are 100% authors and authors alone. Hey guys, this is your friend Iggy back again. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to install the Patriot Viper RGB 16 gig kit. Comes with two modules, again, 16 gigs, and it is RGB RAM, so it's pretty awesome. And I've already done some overclocking, I'll show you in the review coming up very shortly. But uh, installing RAM is one of the easiest things to do, but you know, if you've never done it, you're not sure how to do it, and I'm going to show you how to do it in this video. So come over here real quick and let's get started. Alright guys, so the motherboard we're using in this video is the EVGA Z370 FTW motherboard. It's going to be all around the same. Now for this particular chipset, they want you to install the RAM in DIMM 2 and DIMM 4. So this is 1, 2, 3, and 4. And then right over here, they give you a little legend on how the banks are named. Definitely, before you install the RAM, make sure you check out your motherboard manual. That'll tell you exactly what DIMM slots you need to put it on. Just because I'm installing the Patriot Viper 16 gig RGB kit on this particular motherboard, it may be different on yours. So it's not a bad thing to look. So first off, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and open up these DIMM slots. Again, slot two and four. On the Z370 chipset, your machine will not power on if you install the RAM in slot one and slot three. Again, it needs to be two and four. Now, if you have four sticks of RAM, of course, you're gonna populate all four. First off, as I showed you, we went ahead and opened up these DIMM slots here so that now we're able to just slide the memory in. You'll notice on the RAM itself, there is a little notch right here. That matches up with the notch right here on the motherboard. So let's see if we do it on the first slot. I wanna show you the wrong way to do it and how you can tell it's the wrong way. So here you can see, or you may not be able to see, but I'll give you a better angle in a minute. I'm installing it and one looks right, but you see the memory kind of seesaws in and out. So that tells me that I didn't match up the slots or the notch, should I say. So I just flip the memory around, slide it down and just push it in. You'll notice as I push in, this little lock will lock back in place and it's gonna go ahead and lock itself right over here. That way the memory doesn't fall out, you know, maybe if you're moving the system around. So I'm gonna slide it in and all I do is push down lightly, not too hard, okay? And then you see how that locked back into place. Now, this particular motherboard doesn't have those little locking mechanisms right over here. So the way they want you to install it on this board is you slide it in first here, push it down a little tiny bit, then slide it over here in like that. And then again, just push it down. I'm gonna bring you in a little bit closer so you can see exactly what I mean about the notches lining up. You slide in the memory right over here on the side. That's if you have this type that doesn't open. If you do, you're just gonna open up both sides if you have the one that has them on both sides. So you can see here, if I slide it in over here, then I slide it in over here. You see how that notch is right here, but on the motherboard, it's right there. So see how it seesaws in there? So now we just turn it around. Slide it in place, push it down. And again, you saw that lock. Now I'll go ahead and show you on this one, since again, it is two sticks of RAM. This time I'm going to install it in correctly. Okay, so you see, it seesaws a little bit because it's not seated, but it doesn't seesaw completely. So now we just push it in. All right, and that locked into place right over here. So if we wanted to, we can lift the board like that and the memory isn't just falling out of place. Again, it locks right over here. I'll show you this way. See that little locking mechanism here? It's gonna match up with this right down here. See how it locked in? And again, so we just installed two eight gig sticks, so a total of 16 gigs. 
And now I'm gonna show you real quick how to set that up in the BIOS. So as soon as you start up your computer, you're going to go into the BIOS. Most likely it's going to be a delete to get into your BIOS. It may be different for every single board. Right now I'm using the EVGA Z390 Dark Motherboard. Okay, so I'm gonna go into Advanced Configuration, Enter Setup. Now mind you, I already have a configuration here, but I'm gonna go ahead and reset it for you guys. So I come over here to Save and Exit, and then I click Restore Default and click Yes. Okay, so now you're going to see everything is defaulted. I don't have anything set up correctly, so I'm gonna to have to go one by one, but anyway. So right when you install this memory, you're gonna come over here to the memory tab and it may be different on your motherboard but I'm just showing you if anything just about where you're going to be and then you see here under memory profiles it's set to automatic so I'm gonna go ahead and click on that and then I'm gonna click XMP profile 1 and you see how it sets my memory frequency to 3200 megahertz that is the overclocked profile that they have set on the XMP profile it sets my dim voltage to 1.3, 1.350, TCL 16, TRCD 18, TRAS 36, and well, you can see all that here. After we do all this configuration, you're just going to come in here, save and exit, and then select save changes and reset, and that'll restart your system with the brand new settings. Again, this is Iggy. Uh, just showing you how to install the Patriot Viper 16 gig RGB kit and then after installing it how to configure If you guys have any questions, please do comment below I'd be more than happy to help you guys out and Please do click like and subscribe. It helps me out a ton and uh, if you want to see my system configuration check in the description below and uh, Well as for now see you guys Products in this video were provided to the author to do review all opinions are 100% authors and authors alone.